guardian? Looks weird. This is... Okay, we gotta fight this thing. This is a Dawn Wanderer. It is a way, 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 way more powerful guardian. It was featured actually in the anime of Dot Hex Sign, and uh, it it was where the guardian was used for um, Kite. Not Kite. I'm sorry, Sukasa himself. That is not what I wanted to do. Need to heal with an item now. So I'm not losing my buff this soon. Uh, the Dawn Wanderer was Morgana's personal servant. I should say the Guardians were something that, um, actually that cat character we can see, Maha, was able to control. And was Morgana's personal painful thing. Now it looks like it's it's da be taking damage just like uh, Corbinic was, so we should be able to kill this thing and it's going to be dead. Yeah, we win! That was not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um... Yeah, killed it. Or it's gonna cheat. Yeah, I have no idea where the inspiration or even concept from this for this boss came from. There's Maha. It's resurrected. Possibly this is the thing that w should or shouldn't be born that uh, uh, Aura was talking about. Elk? Alright, now for the real battle. This is the Temptress Lover. And it is a pain. Or at least it looks, it should be a pain. It's really freaking creepy, I'll give it that. Um, wow. We should be able to take it down without a ton of trouble being at such a high level just to get through the dungeon. I'd love to come at this thing at a lower level just to see what kind of damage it can do to me. Ow. But, uh, yeah, it's really, we've already taken it halfway down and I'm just using normal attacks here, mostly. Wow, seriously, you're going to keep doing that? be any less in, uh, creative. There, that's something that's actually giving me a threat when you hurt elk. Huh. I thought, I guess that was elk using that summon. We've almost killed it. And it's almost killed elk again. Typhoon Blade. I think we win. Yes, we killed it. Now what? Is it gonna revive again like freaking Kubia? No, Kubia, not Kubia, but uh, Corbinic? Because you will be with her. 
And that is the official ending of the game. Congratulations, all episodes of Die Hack have been completed. Final ending, last epilogue, resurrection, the end, end to the new future, Dot Hack. As I just said, this is the official full ending of Project Dot Hack. We now, we have saved Mia. Now to tell the truth, Maha? Oh yeah, and we got some new movies, and I think we get a couple new images too. Yeah, we got 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94! Enough! Enough! 96. And we're back to Omega Server. We can now continue to play the game as at our leisure, even though it's kind of pointless now. Thank you, Balmung, for doing very little, actually. Call me again. And we now, like I said, have Mia now. She is back right. in the game. Now, she, her memories, however, were cut down to before she was affected by the bracelet originally and um, all of that. Wow, she's like defaulted again. She's 96 now, though. There's never. Oh yeah, she somehow was leveling without me, my consent. So <laughs> let's go ahead and give her a. Uh, let's see. No, you don't use for second sight. Thank you. Chaos sword. I feel sort of embarrassed thanking you like this. Now has the chaos sword. Now this is also one of the reasons why I kept. Uh, bringing up the, or keeping, hanging on to these aromatic grasses through the whole game. You only get a few of them throughout the entirety of all the games. And where is my affection for friends? And once you re reach 500 in the second game, you never get to use her again. So you just kind of have to hold on to them till here. See, so yeah, that's 601. Well, if you give me an aromatic grass, you get a unique uh, thing. Thank you. Or maybe not. Whatever the case, it is the highest, the only person that will ever care about aromatic grass. And it jumped me a hundred points. I can't. So I give Thank her all you. of them. And guess what? We're at full now, aren't we? Full? Nope, not full. Oh well. We get goes up quite a bit, I'll say. Also, that reminds me. How is Sukasa's here? 500. So, yeah. Essentially, we... Yeah. All sorts of... Yeah. Uh, something I'd like to note is uh, about Maha. Uh, wait. Party here. Thank you. Did Maha it? was indeed Maka, the temptress. The a phase. It was a avatar representation that uh, Morgana created in order to uh, give Sukasa something to uh, basically a guardian and uh, guide him towards corrupting Aura back in Dot Hack Sign. However, eventually Maha became well, attached to Sukasa and tried to protect him from Morgana. Morgana got pissed at her and completely destroyed her. Which I believe is essentially how Mia came to be, was kind of a culmination of the date of the lost data. 
Yep, I now have stuff from Mia and Elk. So let's see. Past. I met you for the first time in the dungeon, but feel as if I've known you for a long time. And we can reply to these. I'm sorry, I've just kept you worried all this time. I'm really sorry. And we can reply to this too. I believe these are the beginning of their email chains. The only email chains we ever get from them for the entire game. So let's go let's turn on some happy music real quick. Check out some ma some images. But yeah, as I said, uh, Maha, the low cat character we saw before, was destroyed by uh, up here was destroyed by uh, uh, Morgana for disobeying. And in fact, the Temptress just ke seems to have that kind of a history, really difficult with uh, Morgana, as with Mia existing. In the anime, Maha always used to have a little piece of grass, which is essentially what most people believe that the, and in fact I do too, believe that the aromatic grass item represents. Essentially, it was fragments of Maha's original data, which would explain why uh, Mia is uh, attached to them. It also explains a bit why she is attached to um, Elk so much, because he looks like Tsukasa, who she basically felt eventually in the in Daihak Sign was basically like her child. Alright, we actually have new uh, backgrounds here. Krim. See Krim back there? It was a uh, time when we went and found Krim in the dungeon. Back when we looked up, uh, trying to, uh, get to, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? We are trying to, uh, meet up with uh, Subaru. Or, uh, not trying to, but you know what I mean. There was that message post. Game over, which is really insanely kind of depressing, but awesome at the same time. Freaking Kubia! Guardians. A uh, kind of trippy background about with all those the guardians. Imagine the one on the bottom left's a dawn wonder, but who knows? Final battle. Everyone gearing up to fight Corbinic in a uh, Omega server. Sora and Scathe. Yeah. Bitchin. Which, if you don't remember, in the end of Dot Hack Sign, Sora was imprisoned in Scathe. Or I guess Scathe's wand, or whatever. Player killer, Sora himself. One of my favorite things to do is have this combination. Let's see, where is it? And failing that, of course... Because when you log in, it just kind of goes raw at you. Actually, I like Gores even better, and I'll show that off real quick too. Because why not? It's my freaking game or video. Just like the, uh, I think I like the uh, bells a little bit better. Anyway, while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and look at a couple other things. Harold. The scene where we went and met with Harold. AI Harold. Destruction. The destruction of the bracelet. Very epic spot uh, image there. Bracelet, which is just, I think, having the bracelet. It either falling apart or coming back. I don't remember. I don't know. And then resurrection, which is what we just got. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and have my favorite set up here. And someday I'll actually get everyone's uh, affection up high enough and do the email chains, I believe. But for now, this is the very end of Dot Hack Quarantine. I really hope you enjoyed this game with me. It was very, very long for me to do. And it was fun! It's going to be very interesting to go from just the, the format I had with this game and going into Star Ocean 3. Again, everyone, please bear with me when I while I do this, because that's 
rather different, so... Yeah. Anyway, as I said, this is the end. I hope to see you guys again in Star Ocean 3. And I will see you whenever I come out with that. Probably later in the week. Or actually, I've probably posted it along with this. So I'll see you over there. Thank you very much. And have a good one. Later.